I think you mentioned Corinne. And we're talking about a player playing world-class stuff this week. And he has got double top. Yeah, and takes a 12-dart start. Very vampire. Well, how's that for a first leg of the night? Van Pierre, who started with a 12-darter, is being pegged back here. 140. And success in Group A 16. is not a guarantee of success on a Saturday night. Double four. Eight. Barry Taylor misses his 36. chance. We don't know at this juncture just how important those misses could be. Van Pierre thought he was not getting a look at double 18. Game shot on Beautifully the third done. Play. Barry Van Pierre. A real bonus for him, but a missed chance for Taylor. Barry, you require the professional dart players like more than 1 3 2 to finish a match. Oh, it's a great finish, though, isn't it? If he's going to miss the ball, he wants this dart to be in the 25 just above the button. That's even better. He's got the two balls. Ah! Oh, I thought he had it. Jacob, you require I honestly 64. thought he had it. What a finish that would have been. Double top to survive. Game oh, shot what a game this play. is. Jacob what a Taylor. game this is. And this is exactly what the doctor ordered. 180. What a time to get your first 180 of the entire match. I mean, a 180 is great at any time, but there is such a thing as a perfectly timed 180, and that was 87. it. 87. Barry requires 16. For an opening win. The visualization. Shaking the arm out to make it sure it's nice and relaxed. And no he score. busts it. He gives Taylor Jacob, you require one 90. chance to steal it. It's the bullseye. 65. And he can't cash in. This time, Berry's got to visualize something a bit more positive. Berry requires 16. I haven't seen him look this nervous all week. This is a very different thing that's happening tonight compared to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Game but shot. he does get the and win. The They've had here. some ding-dongs this week, but this one goes the way of the man from the Netherlands. Justin, welcome to finals night here at the Super Series. It's been some debut for you here, hasn't it? Yeah, I've been, I've enjoyed the enjoyed the couple of days so far, and uh, hopefully have a good night tonight and uh, win it. Going into it, obviously it was a tough group, but to top it must give you a lot of confidence. But when you spoke to me on Thursday, you said you had that confidence anyway. Yeah, it's this game of darts, and it? it's as hard as you make it, and I like to make it easy sometimes. <laughs> Has this experience lived up to your expectations? Yes, definitely. This, this setup here is, is lovely. Just everyone's relaxed out there, and it's good atmosphere, and go out there and play your best darts when you like that. You said to me on Thursday you've come here to win. You're now into Saturday night. Is that possibility of the five grand just lighting up a little bit in your eyes? Oh, 100%. 100%. I'm here to win that. The amount of Chinese food I could get with that is just <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you the number of a very good takeaway. I wish you all the <laughs> yes, best, Justin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Leonard, welcome to finals night here at the Super Series. Boy, did you give us some drama last night? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I made it harder than... than what it was supposed to be, but uh, not taking credit away from the opponents. They shot and they pushed me, so I just had to push back and come out, you know what I mean? So you had to wait for the outcome of the Lisa Aston justin Hood game. Did you watch that match or did you just want to see whether you were through or not? Uh, no, not really, because I figured I was through. Uh, kind of like don't know how the tables work, uh, but... Um, if, if I played her the first match and I beat her a certain amount of games, I played her the second match, beat a certain amount of games. But she beat some, some uh, good guys in good positions to put herself in a good position. And it was just like, whew, it's one of those kind of situations.
But she was here. You always seem to make a habit of making it here to Saturday <laughs> night here at the Super Series. And you came so close last time to picking up the weekly win. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I always say the third time's a charm. This is the third time. We're going to see if it's a charm. But um, uh, definitely it's, it's good competition that's going to be on the stage tonight. Uh, each guy, each uh, dart player know what they're doing. Uh, we just have to push each other and, and has the best strategy and, and the accurate darts to see who comes out. I'm sure you're going to charm yeah. us on the stage. Leonard, we wish you all the very best. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. 4-2 on Thursday as well. So does he have Soldier's number? He'd definitely be having some confidence coming into the game, knowing that he's already got a win twice. 135. Though, Leonard, you're requiring Counting 96. Counting from the gods there from Justin Hood. We've just learned a lot about him by doing that. I don't think any player would have done that this week apart from him. Game shot but it's 1-1. One, one. It's completely Leonard irrelevant. Gates. Because that 12 dart leg equals things up. Did you require 141? It's on. It's still on. Game it's Sean only been done. Leonard Gates. That is a world class finish from a player who was maybe playing the best darts of his life in the last week and a half. Well, sometimes he does put that dart in and maybe 73. does throw it a little bit too quickly. Leonard, you require this 161. is to win the match. And because he's hit a 1-4-1 in this game, it's not out of the question. He's got the bullseye. Game wow! Shots and the match! That's Leonard the only way for it. What a performance! from Leonard Gates, and what a time to put in the best performance of the entire week. He hasn't played anywhere near that well over the last couple of days, but he wins with an average in excess of 110 by four legs to one. The first match in group two belongs to Gates. Stu, welcome to finals. How have you found your week so far? Um, tiring, if I'm honest. It's been difficult. Two draining days of darts and I felt it, but I've had a good rest, and hopefully I'm ready for this now. It's been a dramatic week as well. That was a Group C that went all the way down to the wire. It, it was, yeah. After the first day, 1-4, lost one. I thought I might need two more wins on the next day. Lost my first two games and won my next three. Thankfully, that was what, did, what clinched it for me. I needed more than two wins. I needed the three. And I, usually, I, it's usually five wins or so, isn't it? Six wins, maybe. After that second game on Friday, what were the nerves like? <laughs> Jangly. <laughs> Jangly. There was, uh, there was tension in the arm. There was angst in the mind. There was all sorts going on. And trying to put that away and play darts again and pull yourself together is it's a skill you need to learn, really. And so finals night, if other crowd, big opportunity and the big prize on offer. Yes, yes, there is. Some very, very good players in the back there practicing away hard as we speak. Um, hopefully, I can play my game and it'll prove to be enough. Look forward to watching you play. Stu, good luck. Thank you very much. No score. How has that not gone Jacob, in? Jacob, you require 98. The width of a wire in it. Double 12. The double, the lead. 86. He's Should getting he lots of darts at double tonight. He had 12 against Van Peer and still couldn't get the win. Game shot on the second leg. This one's level. Shoe Wilson. Now, he has left himself on a bogey number and he's maybe going to pay for it. One because Stu Wilson's left double six. And he threw second in this leg. 100. Stu, you require if he misses 12. this to the right, the way his dart hit the board, it won't be a marker. Game shot Who needs markers leg. when you hit it first Stu dart? Wilson. Stu Wilson takes the lead. He won. Yeah, take out that first leg, and I think... 136. <laughs> that was going to be a bogey. 
bullseye. Shooting required 101. Quite close. Well, now Wilson's got the opportunity to take out 101 and the match and secure himself through to the semi final. He may have needed that bullseye, Jacob. Let's find out. 89. That close. Jacob, you're required to being 25. through with a game to spare. You can see that he was almost frozen. He thought it was in. Game shot on the feet. But now play. he's got to go all the Jacob way back Taylor. to the start. Double 10. 40. And because of that miss, I've got to ask you Should a really quick question. 131. He went for a 20 on his last shot. Should he have gone 19s? Because he could have left 132, which is easier than this. And he's paid the price for that 50 50 call. Yeah, I agree. You'd rather have 132 than 131 or 133. Because of the beautiful Game thing called Sean the bullseye the in the centre of the board. Jacob Taylor. But we are 3-3 three, three here. And Wilson, who did have a match dart to win it by four. Seven and final leg. It's Jacob to, to throw one. first. Game on. Now has to break through to eliminate Taylor. He is still in. 140. And still kicking. Double 12 this time for Jacob. 89. Almost the same spot as the one Should that Stu Wilson hit. But that seems like a long time ago now. This is a big ask, but it is to qualify. And it's on. Not anymore. 87. He is praying Jacob right now 12. that Jacob... Can't find double six. Game shot. But some bad news match. comes your way. Jacob Taylor. He did have his chance to knock Taylor out. But the truth is still alive. And he just needs a little bit of a favour from his old pal, Barry Van Peer, in the next match in Group 1. Well, it's 4-3 to Jacob Taylor. And we've got more from Group 2 coming up. Martin, welcome to finals night. It was some day yesterday for you, wasn't it, here? Yeah, it was nice to get through the group and... Win it outright with the, the field who were in there, so I was happy with it, to be have, fair. Have you found the week in general? We saw you play a little bit at Q School, maybe not so much elsewhere in other tournaments. Where was the game leading into this? The practice is really, really going well, but um, the difference is I haven't had that much max, match practice, and when you keep, how I look at it, is match practice better than practice, so you've got to keep going and doing the Welsh tour, as we call it, and just keep going and to build your confidence back up because a lot has happened back at home that a lot of people don't know about. So it, you'd rather sometimes be there instead of doing that, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So you've had that match practice. You've had 10 games to get into tonight. Do you feel close to that peak Martin Thomas going into this evening? Well, if I could take my um, practice, like everybody, if I could take my practice to the board, yeah. It, but I could see the confidence is coming back now instead of before I was doubting myself all the time. And now it's just, I'm starting to enjoy it again. So. When I enjoy it, I can, I think I can hold my own like so. I'm really looking forward to it tonight. Well, confidence is everything we want to hear. Martin, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. On the double after 12 darts, and the way Leonard's playing, he might not get a look at it. That's six. So 77. He could go treble 15 or treble 19. It's double 10. Game Is there anything the he can't leg. do? Leonard Gates. He was 80% on doubles in that first game of the night. And I'm not going to let anybody forget the Second fact leg. that he it's hit a 1-4-1 one one and a 1-6-1. One. Double 10 for Thomas. 84. Gives Leonard a look. Leonard to require 155. He'll be loving darts even more if he hits this. It's not out of his reach. But it is now. 78 leaves 77. Or well, 77 leaves 78. 95. Martin, you require 10. I'm glad he got it right. Game shot. I'm glad Martin play. got it right because we've got Martin another tight Thomas. game in our hands. But is it with an undefeated streak on Saturday? 102. It's not another bull finish. I think he's quite annoyed Martin, by that. Yeah, he's disappointed in himself.
Game shot. We the are going play. all the way. He wasn't Martin sure Thomas. it was in until Charlie called it. Eighty one. Tom he says. Require eight. That's his nickname. But he said it because he wasn't pleasing the darts are in the pocket. Game shot. For good reason. And the match. He's lost the Lenny match. Gates. But he knows exactly what he has to do when he comes back for game number six. If he beats Justin Hood, he will eliminate Justin Hood and keep himself in with a chance of the £5,000 that is on offer here tonight. No score. But maybe not good enough. Sure, you require 10. He can't believe it. That's ideal. That's not because the flight's in the way. No score. And it skews its way over the top, Berry meaning that they're both at the two. top of the board. But Berry is in visit nine in this leg. No score. This is actually the worst leg of the week. Show you require 10. And it's awful when it gets to this, when, you know, no one can seem to hit that double. It's a pub game. They're both in the madhouse. Game shot. But Stu Wilson, Wilson unbelievably breaks in 27 darts. If Barry, Barry Bampier happens to go 3-1 down in this match, I don't think he's coming back from it. Bullseye. 96. Wow, that was close. And just like the double 12 that he missed to win his previous game against Jacob Taylor, Very required he froze 14. when that hit the 25 because he thought it had a chance of hitting. It looks like Barry Van Peer is playing with the amount of pressure that someone would have if they had two anvils on each shoulder. Hence the little shrugs of the shoulders, just trying to free up a little bit of tension. Game and he's finally hit play. a double for the first Very time in what seems like forever. And it's 2-2. Two -two. The... Stu Wilson on the cusp of another 140. lead. Sure you and Barry's got 56. time to check the time. Maybe he's checking his heart rate on his watch. That could be it, though, because I have seen him look at his watch a few times. Game shot on the fifth oh, line. What a 56 check out from Stu Wilson there. Double, double. 160. Excellent dots, it has to be said, for somebody averaging 81. With 17 missed darts at a double so far. Just 97%. over 10%. Very requires 60. That's a percentage. Game that has just improved. Sigma. But now Very we've got a scenario it. on our hands. Mm -hmm. Rub your hands together, everybody, because this is what we've got coming up. Single 18. A double top to win the match to knock Stu Wilson out. 78. Sure, you require 140. I'm trying to think of a word that would describe Stu Wilson if this goes in. I can put my dictionary away for now. Van Peer has missed 18 60. darts at a double in this game. Very he just 40. needs one more to send himself through to the semis as the Group 1 winner. Game he wins shot. and, and knocks match, Stu Wilson Barry out. Vampire. We were very close to a nine-dart shootout, and Stu Wilson will go back to Preston after two 4-3 losses in his group, knowing that he was so close to possibly going through to the semis himself. Oh, yeah. I'd like to have won 10% of what he's won. <laughs> 126. In fact, in my PDC career, I think I've won about 3% of what he's won. That makes me feel very inadequate, you know. 62. Justin, you require 47. Double 16.
Got to look at the angle here. He's obviously blocked. Game and shot that's a lovely little leg. bump back Justin Hood. into that 32 bed. There aren't many guarantees when it comes to Saturday nights, especially when the standard's like this. Somebody on Twitter today actually posed a, 60. a question Justin, and said 40. that Canadians were Americans. And I thought, oh, you oh. can't say that. Every Canadian will be insulted by that. Double five. Now, what's he going to... Is he going to risk it? He doesn't want to risk it. He Game wants to win it instead. Justin Hood. That tells you a little bit of something about happy feet. Justin, you require he still runs the risk of losing via that scoreline if he doesn't convert 12 in tops. Game shot on Bravo, the feet play. Martin. Martin That's a Thomas. great skin saver. Require Took it 112 94. in the previous leg. He'll be praying that he gets a look at 110 right here. I'm surprised he went for the 54, actually. I would have thought for sure he'd go the ball route off the 94. I was surprised he went for the treble 20 on 76. Double top. 70. I'm surprised that didn't go in, because that would have given us another 4-3. Justin, you require <laughs> 8. Justin does not want any more surprises. He wants to rubber stamp his invitation to the semi-finals, Game which is exactly what he's just match. done. Justin Martin Hood. Thomas is eliminated from Group 2. He's had a really good time of it over the last couple of days, but unfortunately, he does come up short in the shootout in Group 2, and ultimately, it will be Justin Hood who stays on the board, and he will play Barry Van Peer in the first semi-final in Group Stages. We've now got three knockout matches coming your way, and Justin Hood is starting it wonderfully. Yeah, it's very different once it gets to the semi-finals because now Justin there is no round 90. robin. It's just a straight shootout. Double five. Eighty. Now, Barry Van Pier has got the darts. By virtue of winning his group, one of the benefits of finishing top is that you get the darts in the odd-numbered legs. Based on what we've seen tonight, that could be key. Double 12. He couldn't even see where that finished because of his own flight. And I think that might have been because it was well inside the double 12. Game that one's the inside the 12 play. segment. Very vampire. And we're not going to get another. Just yet. 94. I love Very the positivity. 106. I'm going to join you. We're going to get one tonight. I'm always looking out for the 170 checkouts or the nine data. Game shot. Well, 106 the third is the number for Barry Van Pier. This is spirited. The amount of pressure he's under. That's the risk of going for 25. 59. And he misses out. At three o'clock on the board. Justin, you require eight. And just after 20 past 10 local time, it should be 3 2 Hood. Game That's what it is. Play. Justin Hood. There's the break of throw. And now Van Pier, who was very much favoured by the odds compilers. And this is a semi final winning shot, which is now not possible. You've got to hit this Berry. Berry require 120. This has got to be very, very good. And it's very, very Van Pier on tops. 104. He tried it earlier in the week. He's noted for that shot. Justin, you require 32. And for the second time after getting the 242 segments, he misses double top. And Hood. Has he got those shoes on again? Yeah, I was going to say. Double 16 for Hood. Game to shot. make the final. Match. The group Justin A winner, Hood. Barry Van Pier, does not make the final. And he will not go to Champions Week. But Justin Hood might. And that's the first time this week that we've seen a bit of gumption from him as well. A wonderful display in a great game of darts as well. Exactly saying no to a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm.
But Jacob is the man who's oh, looking to spoil the party. 180. Leonard to recall. He gets himself back in this first leg with that first maximum. 14's first on 114. That's new on me. He's got 72 left. Oh. Triple lipstick. Game wow, the that's play. different. Leonard Gates. That is so different that I've never seen it before. I've been involved in this game professionally Second for 15 years. Game and I've never seen that before. Can't say I've seen it either, Paul. 100. You're more travelled than I am. <laughs> yes, his, his board management does sometimes leave a lot to be desired. I don't care how good you are. You're not taking up 168. I hope he doesn't go two treble 20s and uh, treble 16 here, thinking he can win the leg. Well, I don't think he's going to go that far, but I wouldn't have been surprised if his first two darts were both treble 20s, because that's you usually what 68. happens. 68. Double top must go. 48. Gates at double 14. Leonard gets away with the fact that he left the bogey number. But we've got to applaud him in leaving the double. Good guide. 14. But just didn't give it enough air. Jacob, you required 20. Game shot on the third First leg, leg Jacob of the Taylor. semis. Well, treble 14 is not good to him this time. 94. He tidies it up very well. One hundred. This is match 26. Well, he's only 97 points away from making the final here tonight. And it would be two debutants. 95. Jacob, you're That's a pretty 97. good story. He sets up a match-winning double. If Gates can get out of this, this would be even better than the 161 and the 141 from earlier. But it's not going to happen. Jacob Taylor seems to have Soldier's number. He's trying to figure this out. But is this a little bit of just making him wait? Tactical. 78. Jacob, you're Nothing has 40. ruffled Taylor this week. Not a thing. Game and that's why he's in the final. The match. Jacob three Taylor. out of three against Gates this week. He had a really rough time of it against Barry Van Peer in Group A, but when you put him up against Soldier, he is in charge. But when it comes, it's the bullseye. One hundred twenty-seven. Jacob, you recall? Jacob's hoping he leaves tops. That was a good miss there by Hood. Oh, that's a bad miss, though. Eighty. Justin, you recall? Forty. Single numbers. They're the hardest. They seem easy, but they aren't. And Justin Game Hood first is in Justin front. Hood. One, three, two earlier. From Berry Van Pier. And no that score. is bust the score. Justin, so let's see if Justin Hood can hit it. Fifty seven required again. Bullseye. How much? Can he see? Hit this, and he'll only need one more leg. Game oh, that's a beauty! An absolute Justin beauty! Hood. He might just have his best winning average of the week in the final. All he's going to do now is set it up. 57. But he's guaranteed a look at double top. A reminder that he did beat Jacob Taylor 4-0 yesterday. 87. 
can he repeat the trick? Justin, you require 40. Jacob thinks it's academic. It's just a matter of seconds, he thinks, before he's eliminated. That might have been a bit of a nervy dart. Double ten. Game! And Shot! Justin Hood! And the match! And the his happy feet are dancing champion! their way to Champions Justin Week. Justin Hood! And £5,000 now belongs to him. He no? It's not too bad, was it? It was good. It was good. I had a lot of support tonight and uh, went well. We can hear that support in loud numbers. When you first spoke to me on Thursday evening, you said you're coming into this to win it. You've now won it. When you started off on Thursday night on that journey, did you expect it to be as tough as this was? How did you, how, what was your preconceptions? It starts, isn't it? You win, you win, you <laughs> lose, you lose this. I won more games than they did, and I won. So, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you tended to get better as the week went on. We saw you play really well on Thursday evening. You improved as Friday went on. And then when it came towards the final stages tonight, you just knew when to go through the gears. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, I had a tough draw. Thursday and Friday, we had a good group, and I got for it, top of the group, gave me confidence, and got smashed first game tonight, but don't let it affect you, do you? You, had that, the next one. you had that break, didn't you, between your first game and your second game yeah. this evening. What were you saying to yourself in that intervening period? I think I'll come out here and watch the games. Just, re just trying to take it, just a relaxed yes. method? Just, yeah. I've been playing darts a long time, so it's... You're just warming your arm up. I've been playing long enough and uh, I've mm -hmm. done well tonight, so I'm happy. As you say, you played yeah! here for a long time. Yeah! In terms of achievements in your career... You can cheer if you want. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> in terms of achievements in your career, where does this rank for you? It's, this is the second biggest achievement I've had, behind beating Dan Govier. Uh -huh. <laughs> in practice, this is the best thing I've done. Do you know what time it is now? Chinese time. It's time for the presentation of the cheque. To do that, can you please welcome onto the stage the former players champion, the asset himself, Paul Nicholson. Thank you. I'm really glad I was wrong, by the way. Yeah, I am. Did I say it? That's a normal. That's a normal size cheque for him, mate. <laughs> Justin, I'll have another chat with you in just a second. First of all, Paul, to do what he did, to do what he did on debut, really does speak volumes about his confidence and his ability.